hello hi welcome to a new vlog so today is day three of a new lifestyle and day three of no takeout so i'm i was gonna say like hopefully i'm successful today but i already know i'm gonna be because i just i don't care i don't care about the good feeling i get from certain foods i am a addict to food and i am going to stay away from the foods that i am addicted to and continue nourishing my body with foods that make me feel good so far i'm feeling so good like fasting for 16 hours feels amazing because during that time i don't even have to think about food at all i know that i can have my water and i just feel good i haven't felt like super physical hungry i have felt like mental hungry which is like a normal feeling um right now let's see let me go to my fasting app I can eat in about 30 minutes as you can see here so I fasted for 15 minutes and 33 seconds or 33 minutes and 33 seconds there we go look at all those threes and it just feels really good um I am weighing myself daily because I just want to see like how my body is and I will say like I think I'm just gonna do like I'm gonna share my weigh-ins with you guys like weekly because I know a lot of people don't like the fluctuations of weight and right now I'm not liking it very much either because I have been measuring every single thing that goes in my mouth. Uh, yesterday I had 1800 calories so I'm eating very very low calorie like the day before that I had 1600 and I am drinking water, I'm peeing more, I'm moving more, I'm exercising more and I'm doing more, I'm doing better, I'm eating like extremely healthy in my opinion especially compared to like how I used to eat and I haven't lost any weight I have actually gained <laughs> I have gained actually like I don't even want to say it out loud I've gained 0.6 of a pound I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh my god that's you know no big deal but it is confusing to me especially because like water weight comes off of me really easily usually because I hold on to so much so it's like the fact that I'm not even losing water weight is frustrating but I'm not gonna let that frustration like stop me or derail me or anything like that because like minus that i just feel better i feel lighter my brain feels clearer i feel in a better mood um my lymphedema feels a little bit looser i mean towards the end of the night it does get super hard which is understandable because i'm up more moving more exercising etc which i don't know if that could be playing a role in my weight but I can't let daily fluctuations mess with me. I have to really focus in more on like the weekly aspect. So I think that's why I'm gonna like just come at y'all with um, the weekly weigh-ins instead of like doing it daily because I know a lot of people don't believe in daily weigh-ins. So we're just not even gonna include those. All right, you guys, so I am about to break my fast. It's been 16 hours and 36 minutes. Ooh, I'm collecting that badge. I said it was the fifth time I've done this, but that's only because I had this app like a year ago or more. Um, it's not actually the fifth time. So this is filled with freaking veggies. It's insane how delicious this is. Let's start with what I haven't tried. I haven't done the mustard and cottage cheese inside of celery, but I'm about to try it now. So good. And another one I haven't done for you guys is the radish. So we're gonna try that. Oh my god. Game changer. So what else I have is a Brussels sprout. Everything is raw by the way, which just feels so good on my body. I just literally had to pause the video and chew that Brussels sprout. It took like literally a solid two minutes. Now we also have some broccoli. And we have some asparagus. I hate cooked asparagus. I don't think I've ever had it in my life where I liked it. But I like it raw. We have some carrots. Cauliflower. I also have some green olives with uh, garlic in the middle that slaps chicken sausage apple and by the way if you guys want to keep your um, fruits like alive 
and well for longer, put it in the fridge. Like, I don't know how people can eat a warm apple. That's so weird to me. We also have strawberry. Mm. So I'm gonna continue this meal. And I just noticed that this just keeps me full forever. And for someone that has a bigger stomach, AKA me, like I want more food obviously to feel satiated. So I'm trying to eat very low calorie, healthy foods that keep me feeling full where it feels like I ate so much, oh my God. But really like I ate so low calorie and so healthy and it just feels good. All right, you guys, so this is my finished plate. I'm as full as a tick on a dog. I could tell you that. Okay, you guys, so I'm super excited for this purchase. So, I had an air fryer that I had, sorry, I am filled with fur, <laughs> hashtag animals. So I had an air fryer for a couple of years and it was actually recalled. And I remember every time I would use it, like my food would taste like plastic. So I read the reviews and people were like, it's totally normal. So it's like, I was like, fine, okay, fine. But it turns out totally not normal and it was recalled. So I got a new one and I'm so excited for this one because this is actually the brand from my most favorite freaking celebrity, one of my most favorites, been a favorite since I was literally knee high to a grasshopper, like so, and I have bought some of her makeup. What I'm trying to say is it's Drew Barrymore. Hi, Drew Barrymore. She is a beautiful, wonderful, like, hi. Let's open her up. And it's also like so pretty, the air fryer, so I'm excited. Are you doing a reveal for me? Yeah, I'm doing a reveal for you. Do you wanna help me get it out? The brand is literally called Beautiful, by the way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm trying to get it out of the box. Ugh. Okay. So here it is. Beautiful. Look at, there's Drew there being all beautiful herself. So here's a little booklet. You can also get it in black. I got the white one. With all the instructions that you need. Oh, she's heavy. She's heavy. So it comes with plastic wrap. Oh my gosh, look at her. I'm obsessed and I'm so excited to use her. Feline's taken off some of the stickers. So, I'm gonna get her ready. I'm gonna set her up. I don't know if I wanna keep her on the counter at all times, cause it is kinda bulky. I don't like my counter to be super messy. So we'll see. I will say it smells like plastic, but I know that goes away eventually. So here's this. And I'm gonna take off all the plastic. I'm just gonna do it now. And there she is. I'm gonna read the instructions and see if there's anything else I need to do, but. I wanted to show you guys. It's so cute and beautiful, literally. And also, um, it is touchscreen, so all of this stuff is gonna be right here once it's like turned on and stuff. So regarding the air fryer, I have decided to just like keep it in a cabinet till I wanna use it because it is pretty big and bulky. So when I do use it, I will definitely show you guys. Um, I'm so excited, like I love air fried foods. And there's some things in particular that I really wanna give a go, give a try to. But you guys, I'm cleaning my uh, bathroom. I have two more perfumes that are empty. It is Kardashian perfumes. Um, I'm just, <laughs> I'm a use them perfume type of girly. Like I love to smell good. I know a lot of people like to correlate bigger people with smelling bad. It's kind of gross. It's fat shaming. We don't have to get into it. But um, also this perfume I got from Pink Sparkles. We are almost halfway done with it. I love it. It's Kenzie Buttercup Babe. I never even heard of it until she sent it, me and sent it to me and I said, okay. And then another one I'm really loving as well is Versace Bright Crystal. Loving her, which she is halfway done. I'm gonna have to get a new one when that's empty. But like, any Kardashians, I think I'm over their perfume. Um, I do like this one, which is also a Kardashian one, so this might be the only one when it's empty that I might actually repurchase. Um, what is this one called? It's just KKW Body 3, so. Look at this beautiful baby. So right now, I am cooking my next meal. I am making Brussels sprouts with some colorful potatoes. There's like purple, yellow, white, 
And I'm also gonna cut up some steak. Okay, so now I got the steak cut up. I'm gonna season it a bit and then add some minced garlic. So now I have everything cooking together. I added some sriracha, a little bit of soy sauce, and now I'm gonna put a lid and let it cook a bit. Okay, my food is complete. I've never made anything like this before, so I'm excited to do a taste test with you guys. So I got myself a bowl. I was just really craving a potato. So I tried to figure out how to make it healthy and have a serving of it. And by the way, when you guys hear this noise, that's the refrigerator. It's not a fart. <laughs> Look how delish. This would be so good on top of some rice, but the calories hardcore are coming from the steak. So I'm gonna pass on that. All right, so let's do a taste test. I'm kind of nervous about the potatoes. Did I cook them all the way? I want to try the steak first. There's a little bit of Brussels. Mmm. That's good. Oh yeah. I also added some red pepper flakes. It like adds spice without flavor. So it's so good. All right, are the potatoes cooked? <laughs> mm-hmm. Perfectly. Wait, this is like the best thing I've made in a while. Oh yeah. It's like a stir fry in a weird way. <laughs> you can do stir fry with anything, I feel like. So I'm actually in the middle of eating. This is like five minutes later. And I was just like thinking like, I've been showing a lot of my food and I know I've said in the past that like, showing my food and like what people say about my food is triggering. But I realized that like, when I know that I'm on track and I'm doing right, I don't care what people say. I literally don't care. Humans are a walking contradiction. Who we are an hour ago, a year ago is different. Our opinions change constantly. And one minute I care and one minute I don't. And I realized that when I'm eating healthy or what I consider healthy or is good for my body or makes me feel good in a healthy way, not a bad way. Um, I don't care what people say. I don't, so. Huh. Baby. Baby. So we're about to watch Krampus, because it's Christmas time. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it is Vlogmas in June. Oh, I look rough. Wait, let me fix my hair. <laughs> what is happening? <sighs> I don't know. I got the giggles. Okay, so we're about to watch Krampus because we were like thinking of a movie to watch and we didn't know, so... I've been talking about Krampus. I want Feline to see it and see if she's so scared of the gingerbread man. <laughs> it's supposed to be a scary movie, but there's parts in it that make me feel like, is this a parody? Like, I don't know. So I want her opinion. Um, so I'm gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have a couple of these spicy dill pickle almonds. 28 of them is a serving and I actually have had them twice. Um, I had some last night and the night before and Oh my baby. And um, it's actually accurate. It is 28 of them as a serving. And it's actually kind of a lot. The flavor is so tasty. So I'm gonna have some of that. Twinkie's part of our little movie night, date night. And I, uh, I am feeling a little triggered. Like this is a moment where I would wanna order food and just feel good with takeout. So I'm not gonna do that. And I'm gonna drink my water and have my almonds and watch Krampus. Okay, so Feline fell asleep during our movie. She wasn't really liking it anyways, which I understand not a lot of people like Krampus, but um, H3 is like doing a live show. I wish I was there, but thankfully they are also putting it on their YouTube channel. So I'm currently in the middle of watching that. So I've only been watching this live from H3 for like, let me see. How long? 30 minutes, and I've already gotten the frisian goosebumps. I can't tell you how many times. I just love them so much. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but they're my faves. But yeah, I'm having to have my life. Um, I'm about to have my last meal of the night, I think. Um, I can still eat for another two hours, 
but I'm feeling a little hungry now. This is what I chose for my last meal. We have some olives with some garlic, strawberries, a mandarin. This is a breakfast sandwich with just egg whites and some turkey sausage. I am a tapatio girly. So I always put tapatio on my breakfast sandwich because without it, it's just not the same. Mm. Now that's a 10 out of 10. So I've showed you guys everything that I've ate today. So today was kind of like a what I ate today type moment. But I am here to end the vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in my next one. Bye.